So the new face of Africa, I do not think that Africans must adopt one face, right? Because depending on where you're looking at Africa from, I think there's different vintage points with which you can see Africa with. But I certainly think that there are fundamental basics that as Africans we need to adopt. For example, Africans have always been about good leadership, good governance, um, respect, things like Ubuntu. So those are some of the things that I think as solid basics we all need to have. You know, we could be the giant, we could be the bird, we could be, we could be anything depending on the situation that we're facing. So a lot of people also forget that Africa is not a country, right? So it's a continent. Um, and because we're a continent, it means there's different cultures, there's different sets of values in different parts of, of Africa. And, and I think that's what makes Africa beautiful. You know, it's these various paints that you see when you look at it. And, and that's why I don't necessarily think that as Africans, we must say, this is the way that we should be. But I think in everything that we do, we must be genuine. So I've been very lucky to that I attended the fellowship before I even got into roles of leadership because I haven't been found wanting. When I actually became a leader, I was never found wanting because there was always references that I could make. At the time when I did the program, some of the conversations did not make sense. I remember thinking, what are they talking about? Like, what are they talking about? But like I said, seven, eight years later, it's all just making sense. It all make, makes sense. And for me, that's how I, su I summarize my experience with the fellowship. It just makes sense. And the fellowship helped me to, to bring that sense in terms of how I deal with teams and how I lead. The whole world is saying that Africa is rising. We kind of feel the need to show that we're standing up and that we are doing something. But I think as Africans, we must just continue doing what, what we believe is right and not always live up to the expectations of the world. I think our growth, our development, the things that we are ambitious about, you know, as a continent are not new things, are things that have always been there. Some of them I think we've attained. Obviously, we still have lots of challenges in terms of governance and things like that. But I certainly think that, you know, we've got to find our own share of voice and follow the things that Africans are passionate about and not just rise because the world is saying Africa is rising now. And we've got to see every step that we take as being true to who we are as Africans. The advice that I would give to young Africans, particularly South Africans, is to get education. You know, you can only get emancipated when you found education. There's a saying that I liked from um, Einstein where he says, I do not allow my education to stop me from learning. You know, so there's a learning process that we need to go through. Um, as I said earlier on, still lots of challenges, you know, some of them it has existed forever. But I think if we keep educating our young people, Africa will certainly 